Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you another nice wash and go combo. So if you guys want to see what I use to get this super soft wash and go, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I did apply my leave-in in the shower. I believe I used the Cantu leave-in conditioner. And for my styler, I'm going to be going in with the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Butter Cream in the Wet Line Extreme Gel. I've been getting a lot of use out of this gel, and I must say I, I'm with the hype, guys. I really like this gel. It gives me a really super defined wash and go. Um, so I just unbraid each of my sections and then I go in with the buttercream first and I just apply that generously all over my hair. I wanted this to be super moisturized and then I go in with my, I think this is my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and I just make sure my hair is thoroughly detangled. Then I break that section down into smaller sections and then I'm going to go in with the wet line extreme gel and just really work that in. I don't do the shingling method this time um, only because I didn't have a lot of time so I just raked it through and did the praying hands method for this wash and go. But I'm definitely considering going back and trying this out with doing the shingling method. I feel like I would get more defined results even though it's pretty defined when I'm done but I think if I did the shingling method it would be even more defined. If I feel my hair getting like a little dry, I'll spritz some water on it. You guys will see throughout the video that I do do that. And I just pretty much do this all over my hair. And yeah, and then I will be back once all the product is applied. So now that the product is all dried, I'm going to go on with my Eden Body Works. I believe this is their edge gel glaze and I'm just going to kind of smooth my edges back. You guys know I don't style my edges but I do like them just to be kind of neat when I do a wash and go. So I just apply it to my edge and use a toothbrush to kind of brush it back. 
and I just tie my edges down and I do sit under my hooded dryer and let my hair dry before I go to bed and I just apply a uh, satin scarf and go to bed once my hair is completely dry. So this is the next day and my hair is super shrunken but it is super soft and moisturized. My hair was slightly damp like underneath but not too, too much. Um, so I'm going to go in and stretch my hair. I'm just going to section my hair off and I usually do high heat, high speed when I'm stretching my hair um, or warm heat, high speed. I should say and I'm just gonna go on with my blow dryer and for the areas that were still a little damp I went in at the root first and made sure those roots were dry and then I pulled my hair taut to actually get the stretch in but I wanted to make sure the roots were dry before I did that because then that's how you'll get a lot of fridge and I pretty much just use the blow dryer to stretch my hair how I want and I didn't use a pick on this day and I just pretty much shook it out and fluffed my hair how I wanted and just made sure it was nice and evenly stretched so I had a nice little frame to my face. Next I'm going to go in with some argan oil and just apply it to my hair just for a little added extra shine and just work it into my scalp a little bit as well and to release any of that kind of uh, gel cast from the gel which wasn't that much left but I do like to apply a little bit of oil on my hair and massage my scalp as well so that is it for the video guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this combo I absolutely love it and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below of some other combos you guys want to see bye